Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. What's up? How you going? How you be? I'm actually back here with a regular upload schedule. Finally, we're getting there. We're getting on it. I'm getting back. So for today's trans education video, I thought I would talk about why the A in the LGBTQ plus acronym is not for ally. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, A is for allies. Specifically, cishet het allies are like, the A is for ally. And I'm just like, no, no, it's not. The A in the acronym stands for asexual a romantic and a gender because there are identities that start with an A. The reason is because cisgender, heterosexual, and heteroromantic allies do not need a letter for the sole fact that they are not part of the community. Don't get me wrong, allies are great. Allies are vitally important for us as a group of people. However, we've created a separate community for ourselves to be inclusive to the community itself. So for cisgender, heterosexual, and heteroromantic people to want to be involved in that community in the the sense that they believe they are part of the community even though they're not part of the community because we created a separate community for a reason is really kind of erasing the ace, aero, and agender identities. We don't want to erase these identities because they're already erased pretty much by a lot of other queer people, by cishet people. Like, people don't recognize that asexuality, aromanticality, and agender people exist. And it's a little ridiculous that these people don't even have a spot within their own community because people who are outside of the community think that they belong in the community in the spot for the people that it was actually made for. Also, I'm sorry if it's really loud in the background. There are people out of my room doing things very loudly. As I was saying, allies are incredibly important. Don't get me wrong. We need allies to continue to being progressive and to continue being more accepted within today's society. But people who are cisgender, heterosexual, and heteroromantic are not part of our community. They can support our community, and just like I said, their voices are very important, but they do not get to have a voice and speak over people who are queer. Generally, like I said, the basis is that we don't want to erase identities that are already there, and that is why ally does not have a letter. The acronym in the community is definitely more for people within the community instead of just people who support the community. That was short, sweet, and simple, but I hope it got to the point. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what are some future things you would like me to cover in trans education videos. You can subscribe if you want because I post three videos a week here on this channel and that's pretty lit so you can get a notification every single time I upload. If you want, you can follow me on all of my social media which is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. The links to every social media I have will be in the description below. That's all I've got. I love you guys and I will see you guys on Thursday. Okay, bye.